everyone, this is Lisa from Echo Yoga. Welcome to yoga today. For those of you who uh, haven't joined us before, we always spend time in our yoga classes adapting the yoga poses to suit us and not forcing our bodies into shapes that just aren't right for us. For those of you who are very eagle-eyed, you may have noticed that I've got a different t-shirt on today. And that's because 2020 is the year of the nurse and the midwife. And we're celebrating this, this year, all the work that the nurses and midwives have been doing for the last couple of hundred years altogether. And for those of you who don't know, in my other job, I am a nurse, and I'm sure you've all met many nurses through your lifetime. So this is to celebrate them. And we'll dedicate our, our practice today to all the nurses and midwives that we've met in our day-to-day -day lives. We're going to focus today on some breath work, some standing stretches, and then we're going to work on our sun salutations. Sun salutations are a collection of poses that we put together that make a, a flow. And it gets our heart working a little bit harder, gets us warmed up, and they're great fun. So I hope you enjoy the class today. And let's begin. So for our stretches today, we're going to stand up. So standing up, nice and tall, or if you prefer to sit in the chair, then that's perfectly fine. You know that you do whatever's best for you and take the pace that's right for you as well. So we're going to close our eyes as we stand tall in our mountain pose, roll the shoulders down the back, breathe in through the nose and then out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Well done. And then slowly open your eyes. We're going to start by stretching. So breathing in, take those arms up, lovely and tall, stretch the whole of the body, and then come back down. And again, breathing in, arms up, stretch and tall, touch the ceiling or the sky, stretch, stretch, stretch. And then breathe it out, bring those arms down. And we'll do that once more. Breathing in, arms up lovely and tall. Well done, and then breathing out and bringing those down. It's great stuff. So let's roll our shoulders back, first of all. Oh, get that, those shoulders moving. So we're going backwards and then we'll go forwards. Well done. My shoulders crunching like I do every class. Come back to the middle. And let's take our left hand, and my left hand's got my watch on it today. Cross the body, and then right hand coming up. So we're stretching that shoulder, and I'll make sure you can see my face. And then breathing out, let go of that right hand, take the other hand back. And then we'll do the other side. So the right comes across and the left hand comes up. Well done. And let that arm go. And give them both a bit of a swing. Well done. So the sides of the body can a bit of a swing. Okay. So we're going to stretch the sides of our body. So we're just going to Drop our right arm, arm down along that right leg. Breathe in and come back up. We're going to do the other side. So we're stretching the sides. And if you're on the chair, you can do this on the chair, stretching down the side of the chair. Back up. And down. Four. Back up. And once more. Down to the left. Stretching the side. 
breathing in, coming back to the middle. Well done, everyone. So let's get our, our legs moving. So putting your hands on your hips, or if you want to, hold on to a chair, okay? And breathe in and lift our left leg up. We're getting a bit of balance in. Hold on to the chair if you need to, or ask somebody if you can hold their hands. And let's make some circles. Oh, that ankle. Both ways. Well done if you're picking this leg up. That's really strong work. Lift that foot down. So let's do the other side. Lift that right leg up. Keep that foot moving, that right foot moving. Both ways. Well done, everyone. Now bring it down. And then I want you to lift your toes off the floor and wiggle them. So if you can wiggle those toes, get a little bit of movement into those toes there. Fantastic. Fabulous work. Great stuff. So coming into our sun salutations. So some of these poses we have done already. And the first one that we're going to do is touch our toes. So breathing in, lifting your arms up, nice and tall, stretching, bend those knees and lean forward. Bring your hands down so we're in forward fold. Knees nice and bent. We're stretching the back of our legs. Well done. And then we're going to bring our hands onto the mat and we're going to kneel. So our right leg goes on the floor and we're going to kneel. And then lift our chest up, breathe in and rest our hands, both our hands on our left leg, on our left thigh, the top here. Lift the chest up and look in front of you. Now this we call proposing pose. Yeah? Big breath, stretching, opening the chest. And we're going to bring our hands down onto the floor. And then take that left knee back. So you're in a tabletop. So both knees and both hands on the floor. Well done. Now you can stay in this position. But if you want to, you can come into down dog. So coming into down dog, we tuck our toes under, we have a big breath in, pull in our tummy and push that bottom up into a triangle. So we're in a triangular shape and this is down dog. Give it a go, you haven't got to stay there, you can bring those knees straight back down but it's about trying to get into that shape. It's a big strong pose but give it a go. Well done. And bring your knees back onto the floor and untuck your toes. So you're in that tabletop position. Nice and steady. That's also strong. And then we're going to move forward into that proposing pose again. So we're going to lift that left leg forward. So we're going to kneel on our right knee again. Yeah, opening up the chest nice and tall, get your balance, well done, that's absolutely brilliant everyone. And then we're going to bring our hands back onto the mat, okay, we're going to bring that other knee forward. So to help you, you can tuck your toes under, lift your leg up a little bit and shimmy it forward, I can't bang my head on the table. So we're back into forward fold again. Bend the knees, breathe in, coming back up, and hand to heart centre. Well done, fantastic. That's brilliant. I'm sure you're all feeling a bit warm now, getting your heart racing. But we always do two sides, so we've done one side, and we're now going to do the other. So let's do the same, okay? Big breath in, arms up, breathing out, bend those knees and come forward into forward fold, lovely. 
and this time we're going to put our left knee on the floor okay so bring our left knee down our right leg a little bit forward and breathe in lift our chest up and come into proposing pose or we call this lunge low lunge i think proposing pose sounds a bit a bit more fun now you open the chest big breath in Bring the hands back down onto the floor and move this right leg back, just flick it back so it comes onto the floor as well so that both your knees are back on the floor. Well done everyone, that's fantastic work. So we're back into tabletop. Well done. And we can, you can either stay here or you can try to come into down dog if you want to give it a go. And to do that we tuck our toes under Breathe in, pull that tummy in and push that bottom up in the air. Whoa, well done you if you can do that, if you've given it a go. In strengthening the arms and stretching the legs, this is well done. And then knees back on the floor. So we're in our tabletop. Now I know there are some real favourite poses in this tabletop. So whilst we're here, shall we do a cat and a cow to get our backs working? So let's dip our belly and look up. And as we breathe it out, push that back, back up, arch in the back like a cat. And again, breathing in, dipping the belly, looking up. Breathing out, push that back up. Well done. And once more. Breathing in. Looking up. And breathing out, pushing that shoulders up. Oh, really stretching like a frightened cat. And then coming back down to the middle. Well done, everyone. So we're going to come back into proposing pose now. Let's bring that right leg forward again. So lifting it up and move it forward. So you're kneeling on your left knee, okay? Lifting up nice and central, super tall. Hands on that right thigh, lifting it up the chest. Big breath in. You might wobble a little bit because this is a bit of a balance, this and this, but it's okay. Wobbling is good, it means you're strengthening all those muscles. And then we're going to bring our hands back forward again. Okay, we're going to move that left foot forward. So if you want to, you can tuck your toes under, you can lift your knee up a little bit, and then you can bring it forward. So we're still bending, still in that forward fold. We're going to bend our knees, hands together, breathing in, coming up, and you breathe out, hands to heart centre. Well done. That was fantastic. Bet your heart's racing a little bit now. Yeah. So let's take a couple of poses on the mat. And come and sit down. Lovely. Oh. So and salutations are really good for getting us all moving and working out a little bit harder. Okay, everyone. So sitting on the mat, I'm going to do a couple more stretches before we come into relaxation. So I'm going to put my left hand, the hand with my watch on, on the mat. And the opposite hand, the right hand, I'm going to do a big breath in and stretch the arm over. Lovely. Breathe in, come back, and breathing out, tucking it away. And we'll do that again. Breathing in, and out. And again, breathing in, and out. And once more, breathing in, Coming back to the middle. Fantastic. 
And let's stretch our backs one more time. So we're going to lean forward, and stretch our hands out in front. Breathing in, as you breathe out, bring those hands and rest them gently on the floor in front of you. And stretch. Breathing in, coming up, lovely, and then give yourself a hug, arms across the chest, let's give ourselves a big hug for doing such great yoga practice today, and then swap the arms over, and breathe it out, big, big hug, you deserve it, give yourselves a big, big hug, and then relax and let the arms go gently by the side of you. Get yourselves comfortable lying on the, the mat on the floor or chair or sofa, wherever you are, so we can do our relaxation. Now that you're all comfortable, so you your blankets, eye pillows, whatever you want, by the side of you, it's time to relax. And take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And again, in through the nose and out through the mouth. And once more, in through the nose and out through the mouth. And as you're lying there, you might notice how the body relaxes that little bit more when you breathe out. And notice how the mat or the sofa or the chair supports the body as you relax. Notice how warm you are, and snuggly you are underneath your blankets or wrapped up in your, your jumpers and your socks to keep your, your toes all warm and your body all warm. And I want you to forget about everything else that's going on and concentrate on, on lying there and just being, not doing anything. It's not time to do anything, it's time to just be and lie and enjoy the relaxation. And we'll talk the relaxation through from your toes all the way to the tops of your head and relax each part of the body as we go. So the toes, feet, heels and ankles are all relaxed. The lower legs, knees and tops of the legs are all relaxed. The hips, tummy and chest are all relaxed. Shoulders, arms, hands and fingers and thumbs are all relaxed. The muscles in the neck and in the face are all relaxed. The eyes, ears, nose, mouth and cheeks are all relaxed. The top of the head forehead, back of the head are all relaxed. The back of the body, the front of the body and the whole of the body are all relaxed. And I'm going to leave you in silence for a few minutes to enjoy the relaxation.
When you're all ready, time to start waking up. Big breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And wriggle your fingers and your toes. As you take a breath in, stretch your arms up. Overhead, start to stretch the body and waken the body up. Breathe out and bring those arms down. And if you haven't got an eye pillow over your eyes, rub the hands together so you've got some heat in those hands. Nice and warm. And then rest the palms over the eyes. So you can feel the heat over the eyes and slowly open those eyes, taking the hands away so that you can feel slow light coming back in. Well done, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. That was a wonderful class and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again next time. Namaste.